the pyramid text of Marin Ray, the oldest religious text in the world, originally translated by James Allen. This audio presentation is read and voiced by Shark and Ra. It is provided to the public by Amon Ra University. Like those of Teti, the pyramid text of Marin Ray, successor of Pepe I and fourth king of the sixth dynasty, circa 2255 to 2246 BC, are both fragmentary and as yet incompletely published. In the substructure of Marin Ra's pyramid, 20 walls are known or presumed to have been inscribed with text, but only half of these have survived more or less intact. The location and sequence of Marin Ray's pyramid text are therefore subject to the same uncertainties noted for Teddy's corpus. Marin Ray's text continue Pepe the first practice of referring to the king by his throne name. Nimti is his Aegis, as well as his personal name, Marin Ray, he whom the son has loved or desired. But in this case, the two names are used together, rather than alternately. The king's full titulary appears on the external sides and lid of the sarcophagus and in a chamber and in a horizontal band at the bottom of the west wall of the burial chamber, spells one through two. As in the pyramid of Pepe the first, the west end of the burial chamber around the sarcophagus is devoted to a series of spells, commending the king's body to Newt, spells three through 57. These begin on the west gap and continue in three sequences, each running from the west end of the north wall to the west wall and the west end of the south wall. Distinguished from the other spells on the north and south walls by signs facing outward toward the east. The texts from the west gable and wall appear in Seth's edition. Only three fragments belonging to the other two walls have been published. The east section of the north wall contained the offering ritual in several registers and at least two spells of the insignia ritual, spells 58 through 181 and 182 through 183. The corresponding section of the south wall was inscribed with the basic resurrection ritual found in the Pyramid of Unas and spells from the extended ritual used by Pepe I spells 184 through 205. Both walls were destroyed and are unpublished except for two fragments of the north wall. The east wall is largely intact. The sections on either side of the door have been destroyed, but a published fragment from each allows their text to be partially completed. On the gable and in the horizontal line below are the final spells of the extended resurrection ritual spells 206 through 216. And the text on the east wall proper begin with the conclusion of the offering and resurrection rituals spells 217 through 223. The remaining spells on this wall are all of the personal kind, forming a response to the offering ritual originally meant to be spoken by the spirit itself, spells 224 through 250. These open with three spells for the protection of the pyramid and continue 
with a sequence that largely repeats the one on the east gable of the burial chamber in Teddy's Pyramid. Most of the spells belonging to the destroyed walls of the passage to the antechamber have been noted in print, though the remains of the text themselves are as yet unpublished. The spells are mostly the same as those found in Pepe the First's passage, encouraging the spirit to leave the Duat and proceed to the Aket. Spells 251 through 259. The west wall of the antechamber is divided into two sections, Gabalin Wall, like that of Unas, with a horizontal line of text separating them. Its spells are essentially identical to those on the west wall of the antechamber in Pepe the First's pyramid, meant to facilitate the spirit's entrance into the Akhet. Spells 260 through 276. The texts continue directly onto the south wall, with spell number 276 beginning in the last column of the west wall and concluding in the first seven columns of the south wall. The south wall itself is largely destroyed. Two fragments belonging to its first 11 columns have been published. These contain two spells from the beginning of the same wall in Pepe the First's Pyramid, spells 277 through 278. A third fragment with spells 279 through 280 is included in Seth's edition of the Pyramid text, and a further two spells, 281 and 282, have been noted for the wall but not yet published. All of these concern the spirit's passage through the Arquette and are found as well on the west and south walls of Pepe the First antechamber. The antechamber's east wall is divided like the west wall. Only the gavel has survived intact, but the spell inscribed in the horizontal line and the sequence of those on the wall below have been noted in print, and two fragments from the beginning of the wall have been published. The texts open with the spells of the morning ritual, spells 283 through 299, which occupy the gavel, horizontal, at the beginning of the wall. After a gap of four columns, the wall continues with spells for protection of the spirit's rebirth, mostly copied from the sequences on the east wall in the pyramids of Unas and Pepe the First, spells 300 through 319. A second gap of three columns separates these two spells for ensuring the newborn spirits access to sustenance. The last spell on the east wall begins a sequence that continues on the antechamber's north wall meant to enable the spirit to proceed to the end of the Akhet. Spells 322 through 330. The north wall itself is destroyed and as yet unpublished, but the sequence of some of its texts has been noted with significant gaps of 15 and 21 columns. The first four spells on the wall are also found on the north wall of Unasis antechamber. Marin Reeves' corridor is inscribed with most of the text used in the corridor of Pepe the First's pyramid. Its innermost south section, destroyed and unpublished, contains spells for the spirit's departure from the Arquette. Spells 331 through 335. 
apparently intended to be read from the east wall to the west wall, unlike the remainder of the corridor or those of Unaz and Happy the First. The middle section is inscribed with text to enable the spirit to proceed toward the sky, spells 336 through 362, and the north end, only partly published with text for joining the gods. The three spells on the south wall of the vestibule invoke the deceased king's spirit at dawn, spells 375 through 377. No spells have yet been noted for the destroyed west wall of this room. Slightly more than the first third of the east wall is also destroyed and unpublished, but its spells have been noted in print. Together with those from the rest of the wall and the north wall, they form a sequence that continues the theme of appearance at dawn, alternating between addresses to the spirit and texts originally meant to be spoken by the spirit itself, spells 378 through 399. Cleansing and Clothing the Newborn Spirit Recitation Someone has gone to be with his cop. Osiris has gone to be with his cop. Seth has gone to be with his cop. Eyes Forward has gone to be with his cop. You too have gone to be with your cop. Oh, Nemtium Saf Marin Ray, someone has come and you will not need. Your mother has come and you will not need. Newt, and you will not need. She, who joins the Great One, and you will not need. She, who joins the Fearful, and you will not need. She, shall join you and defend you from needing. She shall place your head for you, gather your bones for you, and get your heart for you in your body. You shall be at the fore of those at your feet and govern those in your wake. You shall make firm your house in your wake and defend your children from mourning. Your cleansing is the cleansing of the gods who have gone to be with their cause. Your cleansing is the cleansing of the gods who have gone but not withdrawn. Tehuti, gather him that what is against him might end. Spell 32A, Recitation. Osir Nemtium Saf Marin Ray, you are the cup of all the Necheru. Heru has tended you, and you have become his cup. Oser, Nemtium Saf Marin Ray, look, you are tended and alive, moving about every day, and nothing of you can be disturbed. Heru has arrayed himself with his Malachite sporing that strides over his land in full. Seth has arrayed himself with his Malachite spore that strides over his land in full. Thoth has arrayed himself with his Malachite spore that strides over his land in full. The God has arrayed himself with his Malachite spore that strides over his land in full. This Neemtium South Marin Ray too has arrayed himself with his Malachite Sporer that strides over his land in full. Horus, accept your eye 
that you recognize in the official's enclosure in Heliopolis. Hold. Nemtium South Marin Ray, your Ka, has recognized you rather than your opponents. Address to Gail, spell 52. Gail, this Osir, Nemtium Savmarin Ray, is Shu's son. The heart of your mother flooded up with joy over you and your identity of Gail. You are Shu's eldest and senior son, his firstborn. Ho, oh, Geb, this is the Osir, Nemtium Saf Marin Ray. Gather him to you that what is against him might end. You alone are the great God, for Atum has given you his inheritance. He has given you the Ennead gathered, and Atum himself, as well as amongst them, gathered for his senior son's son in you. For he has seen you effective, your heart big with pride, persuasive in your identity of the persuasive mouth, the God's elite one, standing on the earth and judging at the fore of the Ennead, your fathers and your mothers. Come to their fore, more controlling than any God, and come to this Osir. Nemtium Saf Marin Ray and defend him from his opponent. Ho Geb, persuasive mouth, the gods, elite one. Osiris, Nemtium Saf Marin Ray is your son. May you revive your son in him. Make sound your son in him. You are the Lord of the entire earth and in control of the Ennead and every god as well. As you exercise control, may you drive everything bad far away from this Osir, Nimtium Savmarin Ray, and not let it come against him again and your identity of Heru, who does not repeat his work. You are the Ka of all the Neturu, as you have gotten them that you might take them and give them life. May you give life to the Osir, Nemtium South, Marin Ray. You are the God who controls all the gods, for the eye has emerged in your head as the Nile Valley, great of magic crown. The eye has emerged in your head as the Delta, great of magic crown. Horus has followed you and desired you and you are a parent as the dual king in control of all the gods and their cause as well. Bells for entering and proceeding through the Aket and to chamber west through south walls. Boarding the sun boat. Spell 260 Recitation The sky's two reed floats have been set by the day boat for the sun, that the sun might cross on them to where Heru of the Akhet is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set by the night boat for Heru of the Akhet, that Heru of the Akhet might cross on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The skies, two reed boats have been set for Nemtium South Marin Ray by the day boat that Nemtium South Marin Ray might go forth on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The skies, two reed boats have been set for him by the night boat that Nemtium South Marin Ray might go forth on them to where Horus of the Akhet is, to the Akhet. 
Slim T himself, Marin Ray, shall emerge on the eastern side of the sky where the gods are born. And Nim T himself, Marin Ray, shall be born as Horus, as him of the Arket. For Nim T himself, Marin Ray is justified in the Ka of Nim T himself, Marin Ray is justified. Nemtiam Saf, Baron Ray's sister is serious. Nemtiam Saf, Baron Ray's sibling is the morning god. He has found the ox with their mouth equipped who sit on the lips of Stork Lake, the drinking place of every ox with his mouth equipped. Who are you? They say about Nemtiam Saf, Baron Ray. The ox with their mouth equipped. Nemti himself, Marin Ray, is an ox with his mouth equipped. How has this happened to you? They say about Nemti himself, Marin Ray, the ox with their mouth equipped. That you have come to this place more special than any place. Nemti himself, Marin Ray has come to this place more special than any place because the skies to refloats have been set by the day boat for the sun that the sun might cross on them to where Horus of the Arket is to the Arket. The skies to refloats have been set by the night boat for Horus of the Arket that Horus of the Arket might cross on them to where the sun is, to the Arket. The skies to reef will shall be set for an empty and soft Marin Ray by the day boat that an empty and soft Marin Ray might go forth on them to where the sun is, to the Arket. The skies to reef will shall be set for an empty and soft Marin Ray by the night boat that Nemti himself Marin Ray might go forth on them to where the Horus of the Aket is to the Aket. Nemti himself Marin Ray shall emerge on the eastern side of the sky where the gods are born for Nemti himself Marin Ray has been born as Horus as him of the Aket. Nimti himself, Marin Ray, is justified, and the Ka of Nimti himself, Marin Ray, is also justified. Let there be ululation for Nimti himself, Marin Ray, and ululation for the Ka of Nimti himself, Marin Ray. Nimti himself, Marin Ray's sister, Sirius, and Nimti himself, Marin Ray's sibling, the morning god, Nimti himself, Marin Ray will come with you, sail around with you in the Marsh of Reeds, and more with you in the Marsh of Turquoise. Nimti himself, Marin Ray, will eat of what you eat of. Nimti himself, Marin Ray will live on what you live on. And Nimti himself will be clothed in what you are clothed in. Nimti himself, Marin Ra, will be anointed with what you are anointed with. And Nimti himself, Marin Ra, will receive water with you in the nurse canal, the drinking place of every ox with his mouth equipped. Nimti himself, Marin Ray, will sit at the fore of the great shrine, and Nimti himself, Marin Ray, will govern every op with his mouth equipped. Nimti himself, Marin Ray, will sit on the lips of Stork Lake, and Nimti himself, Marin Ray, will govern every op with his mouth equipped. Spell for securing the spirit's ascent. 
Recitation 261. How beautiful to look, says Isis. How satisfying to gaze, says Neptes. At father, Neptune himself Marin Ray, as he goes forth to the sky, among the stars, among the imperishable stars, his wrath atop him, his ferocity at his side, his magic at his feet. He shall go thereby to his mother Newt. You shall ascend on her in her identity of the latter, and she will give for you the gods who belong to the sky, and they will join for you the gods who belong to the earth, that you might exist with them and go on their arms. The boss of Pei will be gotten for you, and the boss of Nekhen will be joined together for you. Everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued for it with Atu, for it is what was done for him. The marshes of reeds, the Horus Mounds, and the Seth Mounds, everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued for it with Atu, for it is what was done for him. He has come against you and said that he would kill you, but he will not kill you. You are the one who will kill him and establish yourself as him, as the most established of all the wild bulls. Recitation without pause, four times. Be permanent, for you are now permanent. Be permanent, for you are now permanent. Be permanent, for you are now permanent. Be permanent, for you are now permanent.